Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars Galaxy Aviator coming to another round of Grand Arena Championships. We're at Season 15, Week 4, Round 3. We were we were on a bit of a win tear. We did get a loss last week by four banners. Uh, if we had that seven-star finalizer, it might have been different, but we only have a six, so we lost those banners going into the battle, and that was pretty much the end, at, uh, oh, the end of it there. Yeah. So we've got uh, a pretty interesting opponent here tonight. He's got a slacker and a ray, but he's pretty predictable with how he does it, so I'm not surprised by anything I'm seeing in the front wall. So he'd have to really be pulling a rabbit out of his hat to surprise me in the back. So I think we're in a really good spot. Uh, DB, DB, basically, basically on Twitch, if you're not recording and you don't have an archive, there is no problem playing whatever music you want, basically. Uh, but when you start recording, especially for YouTube, you have to be like fully on the ball here. That's right, SCS, that's right, baby. Rolling deep with that one-man raid. E-Grace, the raid of one, ladies and gentlemen, coming in. Coming in hot. <laughs> anyway, so we're up against Mopsy tonight. Let's go ahead to the tail of the tape and go have a look at what, uh, what we're going to be facing here. All right, so we got Mopsy up here. He's coming in at 6.6 .6 million to my 5.4 million. Uh, that's a pretty big gap there. 1.2 million apart. We've had 1.1, uh, 2.1 and 2.1. I usually round up to the 2.1, so he must be in the same area. Uh, character GP's got me by 900,000. Ship GP by 400,000. Coming down and having a look here on these relics. On the uh, sixes and sevens, I have him 15 to 13. He's got me on those fives by 20, by a score of three. And then down here, I take basically take it all the way down on that point. Coming in here, we're both sitting in Kyber. Uh, I've got a lifetime higher banner score of him than about 35,000, which is pretty interesting here. Offensive wins, he's got me by 32. Coming down to these un undermans, this is where it gets uh, kind of separating the men from the boys kind of stuff. We have 464 more undermanned wins than him. And then looking at defensive wins, he's got me by uh, 78, basically. Uh, banners, lifetime banners, he's got me by 12,000. And then looking at zones cleared, I've got him absolutely smoked by about 90. Uh, 90, yeah. 88 and then down here on rounds i've got him by 35 more rounds cleared or one right there so coming at the zetas he's got me by tw uh jesus by 27 math is hard today uh, looking at those g12s he's got a commanding lead over there with 35 more and i have 20 g13s on him and my 81 to his 61 looking at those six dot mons i've got 214 to his 135 so i got a quite a big lead there and then the speed tens he's got you know about 80 more than me uh actually more than that but whatever 90 more than me but uh, then in speed 15 is where it gets a little bit closer. He's only got me by 10. And then speed 20s, I start blasting all over him with 39 to, uh, 39 to his 31. So we both have Kylo. He's got Ray. I've got JML. Um, coming and looking at some of these speeds, this is going to show you a little bit of disparity between our accounts. He's got, uh, he's got 303 on his Darth Revan to my 346. Uh, as you can see, his Jedi Knight Revan's pretty damn fast at 339. So uh, he, that's where he's putting his big, uh, his big speed set there. And I'm looking down at, uh, at 324 on mine. Uh, General Skywalker, I don't use a speed arrow and stuff, so that's not surprising. And then, you know, the, the normal stuff you expect. You know, 316 on the Bastila 2 is 286. So his Darth Revan, if he tries to mirror, is going to be in a really bad position against mine. Uh, he likes to take it on offense, and we are prepared for that. So let's go ahead and have a look. Yeah, Pawn. Yeah, pretty much. I'm usually about a million off from my opponents. Um... You know, I'm trying to do the best I can to, to, to come over these these big kind of like Zerg ability of, uh, of larger accounts. But sometimes it can overtake me. Sometimes it's a tough one. So let's go ahead and look at the defense as I set him. I was stinging a little bit from having a loss on the on the perfect season here. So we're not going to get top 100 in Kyber this time. Sad. It's like I've been trying to break that top 100. I, I did 170, I think, two seasons ago. And I was 300 or something last season. So yeah, we're not going to get in that top 100 this time. Uh, looking at here, we've set a Poe sandwich. That's going to be an interesting one. We got our Poe, our, our sorry, our fin, uh, handbag fin set at about 300 speed. So that does require something decent. Uh, down here, we've got a new team with uh, Wampa and Ness. Once again, that's just a banner stealer. That's just something that it can trip him out if he doesn't take the right team in. We got a Poggle team with Django and Droidica. Droidica is just there to keep him honest, and uh, you know Django's going to be doing some work. So hopefully, we can get some banners off of these two guys. That's really what they're there for. And then I set a Ch uh, CLS with Chupio and C3PO team. This has been kind of a mainstay for the last two seasons of 3D3. Um, 
I used it on offense for the first half of like two seasons ago in 3v3, and it worked really, really well for me. So I started setting it on defense when I started seeing people struggling on it in their, in their GAC history, and it's been a great team. So that's down there holding down the top. Down here in the bottom, we didn't go too, too crazy. We set a uh, Grievous team. We set the pre premium Grievous team with the two droids to force a little turn meter. Uh, down here, we've got a, uh, a Hux team with Fawcett and Foss. That's going to be, you know, it's one of those. It'll take some banners if they're not doing... Uh... Yeah, Petrescu, that's sort of it. It's like looking at everything you get from a Galactic Legend before you commit to it is really important. I mean, I was kind of pot committed to, to Master Luke before he got fully, uh, all of his um, things got basically announced because I wanted Chupio so bad, I actually wailed on Chupio, the first character I've ever wailed on. Um, so I went and bought him out of the store with a vault and uh, got him right away, got him up to Relic, and he was just gnarly. I, I was so happy to get that character, such a great character. Uh, down here, we left a Rex team with Arc and Fives. Once again, this is one of those ones that can just kind of catch him out if he doesn't use something good. And all these teams, there's a good chance he might overkill them based on his GAC history. So that's something I thought about. We did set some stuff in the back that probably is going to uh, surprise him. So we'll see how that goes there. Interestingly enough, he set, um, he set some of his harder stuff on defense. This guy really relies on his Ray to, ho to hold for him. So he did set his post sandwich up here. Great team, but putting it up here gives me a little bit of options on what I can use on it. Um, he's put a Shock T team, which is a pretty decent one. Uh, he's got fives in there and Echo, so there's going to be lots of assists, and there's going to the sacrifice is still a valid thing there. So there's that, but there's no Rexalate, so that's not something we have to worry about. That's right, Night War, we are, baby. He left a uh, Phasma lead with OG Kylo and Fox. I'm not going to lie, I don't think I've ever seen this team on defense before. Um, he's got the Zeta, so we're going to be looking at no crits when there's advantage. I don't think that's a better way to run it than crew, I'm, I'm willing to suggest. Um, but I'm assuming he wanted crew on offense, so... Uh, or, no, that's right, he splits it to two teams. Getting ahead of myself. Yeah, so, so he did set that Phasma team. I'm not quite sure what I want to use on it, but I'm not super worried about it. And then it's a, it's a pretty bog standard Bugs team, not too crazy. If I remember right, his GBA wasn't ridiculously fast. Eh, it's, it's pretty all right, 261, but you know, nothing, nothing crazy. So let's go down and check the bottom here. This is where it gets interesting. He left his Ray Han and Chewie, which I knew he would. I, I was expecting this, uh, we planned for this. We do have a way to kill that, so we're pretty, pretty okay there. And then he did set a crew team with Foss and Fawcett. So this is a kind of a weird one for me because he left a double tank faucet team. So it's one of those ones where I know we can beat it, but I was expecting, you know, some damage to go along with faucet. So I know our Treya can go in there and take it down. Uh, it's just a, it's just a matter of, you know, just getting the annihilate to drop it on faucet and, and working from there. Uh, it, and it's an interesting one because there are counter attacks and such. So there should be, uh, some possibly some some assists coming in from from Red Trooper from Larry the Death Lobster. So that's an interesting thing. So I'm still thinking Treya there, uh, just from the counters are going to kill Red Trooper pretty quickly. So yeah, I'm still thinking that's the move there. I know you guys can talk me out of it if you want, but I'll show you guys what I got on offense, and we're going to work from there. Uh, we do have a Grievous team too. It's only a it's only a G12 on the uh, B2. So I'm not super worried about this one either. I think we'll be able to go after it uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I think it's like I did bring my Night Sisters in case he set his Grievous with Magna and it would be pretty easy to go through. I, I'm actually, I'm not super against Night Sisters here, but I'd rather start off with a clear win and then possibly if we need to, we can use the Night Sisters up on his bugs up here for 51 pretty clear banners if we need to. So I think that's probably the best move, and we can assess what we want to do with the Night Sisters from there. Uh, what are you guys thinking about that? Yeah, Grievous in 3v3, I, I, I always said it, DB, because whereas Grievous in B1 can beat a lot of weak teams on offense, I think it's it's best, best spend is getting them to spend like a Padme or their Jedi Revan or Gas or something like that on yours. If you know they're going to Night Sister it or something like that, then I wouldn't set it. I would take it on offense and use it with B1 to go bash something. Or or I would try to switch up the team a lot so that it makes it, like, 
a little bit more of a twist on something. Like you do, you do something like Newt Gunray lead with Grievous, and a, and then you can do something like I don't know a tank or or maybe B1, something like that. Something a little bit different, just to make them consider what's going to happen a little bit more. Maybe a little bit nervous, right? Like maybe they think that there, there's something that they don't know or something like that. That's that's probably how I would play it if they're they're good with that. Yeah, and. Uh, so I was going to say, it's like one of the things, 100% anger. If you know they're going to spend Padme or Jedi Revan or something there, then you set it. Um, and you set it strong to try to draw it out. So this guy sometimes will use his General Skywalker on Grievous. So I set a premium Grievous just to see if he'll use his General Skywalker on it. Like, here you go, bud. Try, go ahead. And so it's, it's, it's one of those. Anyway, so uh, as we're moving along here, let me just uh, adjust the volume on my headset a little bit. The music is pretty loud for me. All right. So we're going to get down here. We're going to get started. I'm going to show you guys what I got available, and we're going to work from there. All right. So we do have our slacker. That's going with Ray. We're going to do slacker with Watt and Hoda, which we know is a very good counter to the Ray, Hod, and Chewie. We've got our Jedi Revan. We've got a uh, Treya team. We've got our Padme team. We've got our Wedge, Han, Chewie. We've got a JTR team. We've got our boy over here, Crew, with his uh, with his buddies. There is a better than zero chance that there will be a a um, Old Republic team in the back, so we might get a nice uh, OG Kylo solo over there. Uh, we've got a Vader team that we can kind of use. We do have um, obviously s some extra Empire down here, so we can mix and match with Vader uh, when we pull Watt. Uh, we've got a Bounty Hunter team. We also have a Relic Boba on uh, that we that's available, so we can figure that out from there. We got our buggies. We got some Night Sisters. We've got all the Night Sisters. Don't be worried. We have we have all of our Night Sisters available. So we do have Zombie. We do have Massage. We can we can kind of mix and match and do as we want with that. Um, and then that's about it. We do have our General Skywalker too, which is not here. I should probably make one and pull it up because I will forget. I've done that before where I've absolutely forgot that I've got a uh, a General Skywalker. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it, because if I accidentally go into battle with it, then I'll be very, very upset. Anyway, so... I am thinking that our best spend on this crew team is going to be Treya. Um, it should be 51 banners. Should be. I don't think we're going to have any one-shot worries coming in from him without Hux lead. So he's going to be doing some good damage, don't get me wrong. But he's not going to be one-shotting anything. Oh, Nightmare's in here doing the Brady Gloat. Anger. No, no, no. Anger. I have I have uh, Echo and General Skywalker and Ahsoka. So I do have a 501st team that we can use. Just... <laughs> What's going on, Nightmare? How's your night going? It's probably pretty good, huh? Anyway, so down here on these Night Sisters, uh, sorry, on these Grievous, uh, Grievous team, I originally thought he was going to set his Grievous up top and we were going to Night Sister it. I don't know if I want to spend Night Sister on it um, when it's down on the bottom front. Granted, if we use something like a Jedi Revan here, then we're doing just what we talked about, where we overspend on it a little bit. I mean, I'm pretty, pretty confident about it. Pretty confident about it, all told. It's only a 139, but, you know, famous last words. I have lost with it in 3v3 before, Night Sisters. So, but we do uh, we do run a crit avoid on our on our Daka now full time, and our Daka is at 200 and I think 122,000 health. So, it's one of those. We can we can be a little bit heart attack football and go for it. Uh, do, go Tal's with Zombie and Daka and do it there. Or we can just run it up top on those bugs for a pretty easy 51 and not worry about the buggies. We'll have our Vader for the back. We'll have um, that kind of thing. We, we kind of do want to use Padme on these shock clones, I think. I think that's the move. Um, and we'll use our Wedge Han Chewie over here. That's pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, what are you guys thinking here in chat? How you guys feeling about my attack plan here? <laughs> Doctor, you're giving them tears, baby. All right, let's get to, let's get let's get moving then. Not hearing any descent. 
just uh, just more football chatter. So let's get uh, let's get this going here. Let's try to get that Trey in here. Once again, I think Trey is the move. Ugh. Are you sure it sound okay? So basically, my planned idea was we can tray of that, and I originally brought my, I originally, originally brought my uh, Night Sisters on offense for his Grievous, but he put his Grievous bottom instead of top, and I'd rather, cause it it's not like a risky play, but it can lose, so it's like I'd rather not do it unless I have to. So I was thinking I'd I'd instead use my Night Sisters up top on his on his bugs and get like 51 there, and that should be fine. Unless there's something in the back, I'd rather Night Sister. Um, I'm thinking I can Bounty Hunter the Grievous. I was gonna take uh, I was gonna take the Bounty Hunters on something he has in the back. I can't remember what it was. Uh, let me see. There was something of his that he puts in the back that I was thinking I'd use my Bounty Hunters on. Uh... Damn it! I wish this guy like. I wish his opponents tried more because finding somebody who cleared his ray is difficult. And I have to like go searching for it. Yeah, I have all my I have all my knights uh, sorry, all my bounty hunters available except for Django. So I do have Relic Boba, I do have Relic Grief and Relic Bosk and Relic Mando. So those are all available. Yeah, he does um yeah, he puts bounty. He puts his night sisters in the back. He puts an Asajj team. I don't know if my night sisters can actually take that out. He does put a de pretty decent night sister team in the back. But then, he, oh yeah, and he's also got he's got like a Barris team that he puts back there too. There's a couple of things back there that could be pretty night sisterable. So let's see here. Yeah, I've never tried the bounty hunters on Grievous before, so I don't know if. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I, it's like without a taunt, I'm not super worried about it. Uh, we'd be we'd be focusing on this guy, uh, and then we then we annihilate um, then we annihilate Grievous if I'm correct. But with these two, won't Grievous get too many too many AOEs for us to fade? You should be asking me for advice. <laughs> So that's the thing. So I kind of want to just kill this one clear and make sure we're good and then go from there. Um, because from what I'm seeing from his roster, I don't expect anything except for the Night Sister team back here to be anything to, to speak of. If there's something really nasty back there, I'll be very much regretful of it. But I don't think there will be. And he's not getting through my defense, especially if there's something back there. So let, anyway, let's Treya here. I think Treya here is the best spend. It's either Treya or Padme, and I don't like spending Padme there, so let's do that. All right, let's get those cooldowns increased. There we go. Attacks out of turn. I guess we kind of have to isolate him, which is fine, I think. And... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's isolate on OG. Let's knock the uh, advantage off here. That's fine. They get those, those there. Do some more damage to themselves. There we go. Gonna knock that crit, uh, crit uh, avoid there. Gonna try to get an ability block on that dickhead. We got it. Let's go for a big hit. All right. Here we go. Let's get some more cooldown increases. There they are. Gonna have to do a basic over here. There's counterattack coming, the assist, that's fine. We've got our held by hatred, super zombie in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, super zombie. Super zombie in the house. All right. Eh. That'll knock that off and then we can annihilate this guy next. Okay, here we go. Let's go basic over there. Let's do that. Days is on. There we go. Red Trooper's gone. We're good to go. Let's isolate him instead and give it back over to our boy Nihilus. All right, let's cool increase those cooldowns. 
All right, let's go here. Boom. That's right, Lobster Ravioli for one. He's out of there, ladies and gentlemen. He is out of there. Let's knock that off. There we go. Get those cooldowns increased. Let's go for the basic. There we are. And goodbye, sir. All right, crew is gone, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to need another beverage soon. Let's try to get that cooldown a bit. Uh, sorry, the, uh, the Annihilate a bit faster. Here we go. Bang. Get the ability block on there. It's there, baby. Go for the hit. Ray Tato a la creme. <laughs> the entree is going to be magnificent, Pawn. It is going to be mag fucking magnificent. All right, 51 there. That's what we were looking for. We're good to go with that. I'm liking it. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Let us get these here. Let's get the let's get a refill going right now. You guys, how you guys feeling on on your drinks right now? It's like I'm thinking I'm thinking before I do this ray battle, I'm going to need another drinky. So I'm gonna go do a little refill. Let's give you guys one of these fat fun adverts that we do here on Swiggo Yeti channel. And we will be back in just a second, right after a word from our sponsor. All right, just because it's DB's first time, we're gonna have to do this one. He's gonna love it. DB, I know it's your first time, baby. Just relax, let it go. All right, all right, what a mitzvah. You found Yeti. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing to have you here in the channel. Beautiful. So let's go. A lot of work goes into this, making this channel. You know, work. It's like, a, you know, liquor stores. They, they like being paid. Trust me. I've tried. I've tried. They don't like it when they don't get paid. So why don't you show this channel a little bit of love and get your tits out? Uh, um, your bits. The fuck is a bit? Anyway, you, you, bits, whatever, whatever you want to call them now. Get your bits out and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. You get all your updates. You'll know when we're live. Everything. It's beautiful, beautiful. This is the most interactive entertainment experience of a... Wait, what is this? A brothel? No, it's not a brothel. Why can't it be a brothel? I, I mean, I've, I haven't asked much for you. I just... Why can't it be a brothel? Anyway, it's not a brothel. All right, whatever, whatever. If you don't like bits, there's the Patreon. So you can go there, you can do that, and support us that way. And finally, there's an Etsy shop. Listen, what the fuck is an Etsy? It's a, it's a merch shop. I, know, I knew a Betsy. I'll tell you about that Betsy. Her mouth, it could raise the dead. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So you go to this uh, Etsy, you get the stuff. You wear the stuff, and trust me, you look beautiful in the stuff. You look really, really beautiful in the stuff, I assure you, I assure you. And most importantly, get yourself a drink, sit down, and prepare to enjoy yourself. Trust me, I'm telling you, you love it, you love it. Anyway. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, listen to Grandpa Yeti. He is, uh, he is a wealth of knowledge right there. That's years, years spent honing these things. Yo, we got Sim in the house. What's up, Sim? How you doing, brother? How you doing, man? All right, all right, all right. Uh, he woke up. Uh, he went to bed super early, Sim. He went to bed at like 9.30 or something and then woke up around 1 and just couldn't stay, could get back to sleep. So now he's just up. <laughs> anyway, guys, we got refills. Let's get some cheers in the house. Let's get some cheers, babies. Cheers. No, Nightwire, he woke up at 9.30, like, p.m., or went to bed at 9.30 p.m., and then woke up at uh, about 1 a.m. He's over in the U.K., so it's about 4 in the morning here, 4.30 in the morning, something like that. All right, let's get into this ray battle. Let's get this thing fucking down. All right. Whew. All right, everybody, let's do this. All right, lifeblood goes over there. We're gonna stun this guy over here. All right, we're gonna put the uh, regen tech over on our boy Kylo. 
we're gonna put this over here. Oh, Chewie has gone down, baby! Chewie's down! It's happening! All right, let's get some uh, let's get some of that going there. All right, she's in her damage immunity. Let's get a stun on Han. There we go. We're good to go. We're good to go. There's the yoink. That's fine. Let's keep this guy stunned. Boom. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. He's in the damage immunity. There's the whirlwind. Uh, let's get the let's get the drain on our boy over there. All right, all right, all right. Let's get him stunned again. Make sure we got him down. All right, now it's time to wear on Ray. I'm sorry, Ray. You're fucked, baby. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do it. Yeah, you put the med pack on him. Uh, the med pack keeps him from dying to the alt, basically. He can't get whirlwinded down. He can't get ulted down. So the first alt, you just eat it. And then you save your alt until she alts. So basically, if she gets into a second alt, then you then you spend your alt. But but until you do that, like, I'll tell you this right now. Slacker, huh, uh, Slacker with Hoda and Watt will one-shot, like, Ray Han, Chewie. Like 99.9% .9 of the times. You just can't fuck up on that second alt, basically. You're welcome, man. You can pawn. Um, pawn, I, I think the best uh, use wouldn't be Hux there, it would be Thrawn. The reason is, is like she's, you, you make sure not to poke one of the side people first until you get a fracture on Ray. Then you pause out Ray with that fracture. So I would do it that way if I was going to do it without Hoda. I would do it with uh, Watt and Thrawn. I wouldn't use Hux there. Yeah, basically, Petrescu, you have to use C, Ray, or Slacker to kill Ray Han Chewie. JML won't do it. He just won't do it. That's not a bad idea, Nightwar. That's not something I actually considered. But that's actually pretty fucking smart. But I don't, I don't have Ray, so that wouldn't be something I thought about. But when you say it, it makes perfect sense. Having a slower Ray would guarantee that your ult would come off while they're getting ready to pop theirs. If you develop at the same rate, which I think you do. I, once again, I don't have Ray, so I don't know the particulars. All right, guys. So because we had such a great battle there, what I think we're gonna do... Ray with Han and Chewie, you one-shot that? But you you marked you marked uh, Ray from the start, right? I think that's the only way that works. Yeah, it's gotta be like a 12% win or something like that. 20% maybe. But I, I don't know of another consistent way to kill Ray, Han, Chewie without a Galactic Legend. For... Uh, Actually, it's in 3v3, he's modded for offense, Nightmare. He's got about 130, uh, 130,000 health, and he's got, I think, 12,000 offense or something. Yeah, DB. So what I do, DB, is when, when Ray pops her ult, I always take another turn, unless I have three turns of ult ready. So that's sort of how I go with that one. All right, so because we we got Ray down in one, I'm feeling really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use our Jedi Revan here because I don't think we need it anywhere on the top, and we still have General Skywalker. Uh, so we're doing pretty well there. We're gonna do Padme on the uh, we're gonna do Padme on the Shock T clones. Uh, that'll be that'll be a pretty easy one there, and uh, we'll we'll go for it this way. So it's like then we'll use Night Sisters on the bugs. See if we can't give this guy a little bit of a heart attack by seeing that his, uh, his precious baby got one shot. Alrighty, there we go. Let's try to remove some turn meter over here. Didn't happen. Alright. Let's go ahead. It's only G12. So 
so we're going to be able to get it down pretty quickly. There we go. Now we're going to spread a little bit of love over here. Going to do some, uh, some taking of the stacks. Let's get our boy over here. Let's start popping these stacks off. Let's get that, uh, let's get that mark over on the big fat boy in the middle there. General Grievous, you asthmatic droid, you're going down to Chinatown, ladies and gentlemen. We're going down to Chinatown. Let's knock some more of those stacks off while we're working on this guy. Let's spread the buffs. Here we go. We'll call our boy Yoda, give him some turn meter. Yoda's going to get uh, a little bit of buffs there. We're going to be able to spread those in a second. We're going to send Yoda over there. So let's go say what's up to Grievous. More Yoda-related activities. Ladies and gentlemen, Yoda-related activities on Grievous. Grievous! Grievous is not a fan of Yoda. Get this over to our boy over here. Ah, uh, didn't work. 52, we'll take it. Gotta get him deaded. Yeah, Sim, it's weird. It's we I see some guys like consistently use bad counters on stuff that just always works, and I can't get it to work. And I'll like do the same mods. It's very weird. See, there's that there's that Night Sister team we were thinking was gonna be back here. That's an interesting comp. Huh. All right. All right. All right, we're going to use, I think, the general there. I think that's the move. Let's get, uh, let's get Wedge, Han, and Chewie in here. Let's get Wedge, Han, and Chewie in here and start banging that around. You know what's going on with that. Later, Grace Jones! All right, let's go for a stun on this guy. We got it, baby. We got that stun. But they took a turn. That's rude. You're not supposed to take turns. Only I'm supposed to take turns. Stop trying to take turns. Eh, 53. We'll take it. All right. And then we're going to Padme here. That was the move. Yeah, P Wedge gives turn meter uh, when you crit. Uh, he gives turn meter to his team when he when they crit. Uh, so that was something that, that I've been... I was using Stormtrooper Han lead, and that's a great lead too, because it makes uh, Han and Chewie pretty tanky. We playing banger tonight? We played some bangers before the recording. We got we to gotta finish recording, Nightwar. When we're recording, we can't play the bangers. We got to play co copyright-free stuff. All right. All right, so we're gonna get this uh, down here with uh, with Padme. There we go. Let's go and get uh, get a buff immunity there. Uh, cleansed off. That's fine. All righty. Let's get some counterattacks up, and let's just do a basic over here. Waiting for that grenade to come out clear off the uh, taunt all right let's go hit shock t there we go go for a stun on shock t there we go can we get her dead we got her dead ladies and gentlemen now we got to kill this thick fuck over here okay all right go in here and pop no there's the bomb so we can get more protection up there let's get those counters back up bing uh, I should have gone for the stun there that was my mistake it's like I hate it when I misplay almost oh death by Kenobi oh the humanity oh the humanity there it is 52 I'll take it Okay, we do have our Vader available. Where do we want to spend Vader? Because I was thinking we could night we could night sister the bugs. But we can also Vader the bugs pretty easily. We could... We still have General Skywalker. We can do General here. Do like a low low man General Skywalker there. Uh. 
This team's almost a little bit concerning. We're going to have to get around that taunt. Oh, we can bounty hunter around that. We can bounty hunter that team. Uh, we can do. We got plenty of stuff. It's like I'm the only the only thing I'm curious about is what I want to kill this Phasma team with. Like I think, like I said, we're gonna do. The the thing is, we can run a General Skywalker underman here. We have General Skywalker. We don't really have anywhere else we need to spend General Skywalker. Nice to hear that nightmare. Nice to hear it. it it's really it's the the most consistent way to kill Ray Han Chewie. If you know your opponent's gonna place it, just make sure you got Slacker Watt and Hoda, and you're good to go. You're good to go. It's like we can we can still Night Sister this like we we talked about. That would be pretty straightforward. Um, we get 51 banners or 52 banners, and I'll be fine. I got no issues with that. It's like, that's soldiers, so they're not going to be able to go around uh, Zombie's taunt. They're not going to be, be able to pop it uh, with, with Sunfax. So they're going to have to kill Zombie a bunch of times to get at us. So we're, we're in a pretty good position with Night Sisters there. Um, it'd be super secure, and then we can use Vader down the bottom somewhere. Then we can do Vader down here somewhere. Um, we have our JTR, and we have our Bugs. It's like, what do we want to use here? That AoE is a little concerning with bugs. And with JTR, once again, th there's some damage dealers here. They're going to be calling assist. They can get pretty gnarly. On Ray Han and Chewie, Anger, uh, that fails a lot, man. That's when, when you look at the thing, it's like a 50-50 shot. You've got to get it right. Absolutely right. Uh, I, I don't think it's consistent. Like, where is this, the slacker Watt and Hoda? It's consistent, consistent. Um, I, I don't think JML, Gas, and Hoda is against Ray, Han, and Chewie. Against all the other variants of Ray, yeah, you're going to win like 99% of the time. But with Ray, Han, and Chewie, I don't know. Oh, we got 100 biddies coming in from Ethan B. Thank you, thank you for the biddies, baby. Great work as always. You catch the rest of the YouTube tomorrow. Have a good night. All right, Ethan, man, you have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Always a pleasure. Yo, what up, Trez? How you doing, man? Hey, Trez, I think DB Official might be here. He might have passed out. I'm not sure. He was here in a minute ago. So basically, where, where I'm going with this is like, where do we put uh, the Night Sisters and the Vader? We do have General Skywalker, so we can just roll over that. I'm thinking Bounty Hunter's here. We can do Bounty Hunters there and just uh, annihilate Nude out. Or, for that matter, Watt. Or, for that matter, uh, Magna. Yeah, Anger, Anger. I, I haven't tried it because I saw in the meta report that it was like a 50% chance. It was like 53% of all attempts or whatever failed. So I don't know if they misplayed it. I don't know if the mods are shit. I don't know if they're undergeared. I don't know any of that. So you might very well be, but just based on that. So just based on, on the meta report thing, on what people have used in that situation, that's why I, I won't try it. Because I was like, uh, even if I play it perfectly, if it can fail then, then that's for me, it's not a move. And I don't know if that's the case. I don't. All I know is uh, that you've beat it twice. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so it's like, I just look at the big numbers on that, and it, that scares me off of it um, that way. Like I said, they could have been misplaying it, could have been mismodding, could have been whatever, right? Like, maybe it is more consistent. I don't know. Oh, I got a lot. I got a lot, Trez. You missed you missed a fair amount, dude. We did uh, we we killed Ray. We killed uh, we killed that with Treya. We killed that with our JKR just to to make sure it was nice and steady. Uh, we've got General Skywalker still. We got JTR. We got Bugs. Yeah, we've got JTR. We've got a crew team. We've got Vader with some. There's some other Empire down here we can use. We got Night Sisters, Bugs, Bounty Hunters, um, and we've got a a General Skywalker team too. Yo, what up, Bringer? How you doing? How you doing? Anyway, cheers, Trez. Yeah, no, Anger. Anger. Keep trying it, man, because if, if it does work for you consistently, then that's a tool that I would like to have in my toolbox. So if, if you keep running into Rayhan and Chewie, just keep, keep banging it down with it and let me know how it goes. 
You got that full clear on your on your GAC almost, Kyber? How far away are you, Bringer? Are you still going to be able to do it with feats, or is it just not going to happen? So, Trez, where we're at, I was thinking I could Night Sister these bugs, or I could use my Vader there, but Vader might be better elsewhere, and or Night Sisters might be better elsewhere. I'm not 100% sure where I want to use the, the lesser teams. I was thinking this one, we could do a general Skywalker team and smash it. Like, why not? And then... Uh, yeah, you, also, you do, you do. You mod your JML for offense. So you're like slow with offense and protection, right? This is the last fight of, uh, of the month, Bringer. It could be, because I remember you, you mod your JML differently than pretty much anybody I've seen mod JML. Bugs the pretty resistance? We can bugs the pretty resistance. We can do that. Um, so, yeah. To be short about a thousand then? Ah, oh, that sucks, man. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if um It's like I'm not sure if if JTR is the best move here. Just I'm just thinking about the counters and stuff like that. I mean, if they're fast, we could wave him down. But she gets a cleanse, or no, she gets turn meter. It's a very slow team, this one. Very, very, very slow team. Yeah, super slow team. What division are you in, Bringer? In uh, in Division 1, we get like 2,000 points or something for a win. So... We get Vader Bugs. We could go for the Night Sisters here, actually. Four? I think you get like 1,200 for a win or something. So if you win, you should get Kyber if you're 1,000 away. I think you definitely get more than 1,000. So, I think, anyway. So, yeah, we could Vader that. We could just go, like, Palp Vader and just bang that out. Um, that's going to be super easy. That's not a very, very crazy one. JTR works all the way. Yeah, so I was thinking I'd wave on OG Kylo and then kill Fox. That's my idea if I go JTR there. It's like, I don't, I don't play JTR very well. I just got her. So, like, I, I, I just got her modded up and just got her, like, things. I've only had her for a little while. Um, so it's it's one of those where like the team is was like a piecemeal team like the worst of my my offense usually So we're definitely going to go first, but i'm thinking wave on og kylo and then kill fox um Even with the turn meter from phasma that should be fine Yeah All right, let's go to world All right Okie dokie. Let's get a wiggle, get everybody moving. We're gonna wave on this lady. Well, lady, whatever. Young lady, I guess. Let's get that going over there. That's fine. I'm gonna call our boy over here and get some movement over on this fox. Let's, let's pop some of these, uh, try to get some exposes out. No exposes, of course. Go for the wiggle. There's that stupid AOE that I bloody hate. Fox is starting to go off. Let's do a wiggle here. I think we do it this way this time. Probably should have gone for a stun there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to, to start trying to stun because this is getting a little bit gnarly with the uh, with the thing. Let's pop that exposed there. We've got. Uh, let's go for the wiggle. See if we can get a wave going here. Can we get a wave? There's a wave. Perfect. Got the wave on. Let's get a wiggle and start moving. Let's call our BB-8 and get this fucking nightmare out of here. All right, let's go for a stun. We got it, baby. We got that stun. Let's get that wiggle. Here comes an attack. We're still moving on this uh, this OG. All right, let's try to pop that uh, expose. Let's go for another wiggle. We need to get that uh, get that wave out. There's that wave. Let's go ahead and get this motherfucker, but deaded. There's a recovery. All right, I like it. Die, bitch. Yes. All right, cool. Not the banners we wanted, but fuck it. I'll take it. I uh. Yeah, I was trying to... It was it was one of those where... <laughs> Gotta get them down. Alright, so now we can do uh, Vader over here. We can go Palp Vader. We've got Sith Empire Trooper. I don't know if we'll need it. So if we do a General Skywalker there... Then we got Bugs. We can Bugs that. Don't know what we're gonna use here. We're gonna Bounty Hunters this. 
because we can just annihilate our way around the thing with Mando. Uh, they're not going to be able to do too much. We just have to keep uh, just have to keep paying the taxes with Bosk. We're going to be definitely faster than this guy. Yep. So we can do that. Gen Sky there. We can do buggies there. Vader here. And we can Night Sister one of the teams down at the bottom. That'll work. Let's go Pelt Vader and... Just trying to think. Pretty sure Pelt Vader is fine here. I don't... I'm not worried about it. Let's do it. Let's get the force crush. Let's go MM. Let's toss this little piece of shit. All right, good. Get an ability block on this guy. That happened. Ability block on this guy. That happened. Let's get another toss, uh, get another crush out here. Go for a throw. That happened. Keep those ability blocks running. Go for the stuns. Can we get the stun, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get a, get a shock on this dickhead and dead and dead perfect i'll take it 55 Woo! how's your week been so far uh we had our first loss in over a season so we were 16 straight and we lost uh last week but it was against a really good player so you know it, that happens it's one of those we lost by four banners <laughs> we had a pretty epic one shot full clear though he, he set a very good defense okay yeah that's sort of what i expected yeah, we did 29 in a row and then lost, and then 16 in a row and then lost, so these things happen. I don't know about admired, but it's very, very impressive. He has a very impressive roster, very impressive mods. Um, he had me by over a million GP. He had me by he had me beat on G13s, on mods, on G12s, on G11s, on Zetas. He had me beat everywhere, everywhere across the board. So it's like the fact that we got a one shot full clear and we we lost by only four banners. I'm pretty okay with it. Pretty okay with it. All right, so we're gonna do Gen Sky here. We're gonna go Gen Sky and Ahsoka. I think is the move. Uh, there's a couple of guys that I think are really fantastic bringer. Um, so I could have been talking about one of them. So I'm thinking that's the move there. We go just Ahsoka just to make sure we can cleanse uh, cleanse the debuffs with Ahsoka's special or whatever it is. Should be no problem. Hi, Big Yeti. What are you doing, bud? All right, we got some counters coming in. We're going to knock that taunt off. And uh, just gonna taunt again, of course. All right, there we go. Come on, come on. All right. There we go, guys. That's how we do it. 53. That'll work. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we want to... Do we want to... We want to bugs this, I think. We've got our first order as well. I'm thinking first order here, actually. Let's let's do our first order here, and we'll do do bugs down here. But well, we still have night sisters too. Jesus, I forgot. We've got a lot. You're gonna head out, wife's speed day today. So spending time with her. Just want to stop by, show appreciate. Wish you luck. Thank you, bringer of death, man. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it, man. Hope you have uh, hope you get Kyber next season, buddy. If you get the white win, you should get it this season, so there's that. Alright, let's see here. I 
mean, that works there too, full first order. I'm so like, we've got too much stuff. We've got a crew team. We've got uh, bounty hunters still, and we've got bugs, and we got night sisters. So one good team is not getting used. All right, let's uh, let's bounty hunters this down here. I think that's what we definitely want to do. We'll use the uh, we'll use Mando's annihilates to to keep everybody going here to kind of control the situation. All right. Uh, let's get a daze on you. Uh, let's get a taunt going. And we're gonna call our boy over here. Still no taunt to uh, clear out around that. All right. Might as well just start using this. Uh, let's pay that. Let's get a daze over here. Oh, that was the basic. I was supposed to be using that over there. That's terrible. Let's get some counterattacks moving. Uh, let's go ahead and pop a newt for one over here. Let's get the uh, let's get, just get the group hug while we can. All right, let's call our boy Boba over here. Oh, sorry, Bosk over here to try to get uh, closer to contract. Keep that daze coming back. There comes that over on Bosky. That's fine. We're gonna get rid of that in just a second. There comes that. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna pop that over there. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and just do a basic over there. Let's get our taunt once again reapplied. Here we go. We're gonna pop that dude over there. All right. We're gonna pay that now. Go for a daze over there. Got to pop, bring Bosk over here. Might as well while we can. Keep the don that going over there. Got to get that contract, baby. Oh, this is getting annoying. Might as well go for the group hug. We got the uh, contract now, so that's good. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of Newt just to get rid of that. All right, perfect. Get some counterattacks. Keep moving through here. Call our boy Boss. That's dead. Perfect. 54. I'll take it. Alright, so we can do bugs here and uh, we can go with. Actually, I'm thinking bugs here with Droidica is the move. I'm thinking bugs here, we go first order here. I think that's the move, guys. Let's do that. Let's get these uh, let's get these resistance people and teach them all about the first order. Ready for what's about to happen to you, Rose? There we go. That's right, Rose Tico. Fifty four, baby. Gotta love it when you're one shot in the board where you're very, very sure you this guy is not gonna be able to do the same. All right, let's get the buggies in here. Let's get a little buggle action. I'm thinking we want to get, uh, we want to bring Sunfac so we can clear off buffs. Very important. Very important. She has to move new trilogy, shithead. <laughs> yeah, we're going to clear, we're going to bring Sunfac so we can clear off, uh, clear off those, 
the buff off of uh, Droidica, actually. All right, let's go ahead and start working over here. See if we can't get uh, can't get him dead, but quick. Any Mikashi, of course. We're gonna do that thingy and relieve relieve him of that. Uh, let's go ahead and get some exposes on the board. Kill him there. There comes the roll. That's what we were expecting. We're gonna have to uh, gonna have to wait. Get through uh, that little cheeky little fucker over there. Let's go and pop that right there. Get that there. Perfect. None of that nonsense from uh, from Droideka here. Let's go with a basic. Can we get a heal? We can't get a heal. 51. Oh. Oh well. Alright. Okay, so he set his Falcon and he set a uh, resistance team. Sort of expected that. We did keep our premium fleets. don't really like uh, Malevolence versus the Falcon too much, but, I mean, this doesn't have the cleanse, so we should be fine to Malevolence that. Uh, that shouldn't be an issue. So, there is that. We can Negotiator that and uh, Malevolence that. It's one of those ones with Bosk, we don't normally like Malevolence uh, against this. I mean, we can Malevolence here and we can do pretty well at it. I think 62 or 63. And then we can negotiate her on uh, on the on the Radis. If I remember right, he doesn't have. He was missing something, I think, from his Rebel fleet, wasn't he? Let me have a look, quick look here. No, he's still got a Cassian and stuff. All right. All right. Without the cleanse, do we want to do that? I mean, we know the Malevolence will work just fine here, so let's do that. I think that's fine. We just gotta watch for the cleanses. I think there's a cleanse. Uh, they cleanse when you get four debuffs. So we gotta watch out for those four debuffs. Make sure we don't get too crazy with it. Okay, we'll see that. All right, uh, then we do that. There's four, damn it. It got the fifth from that. I knew it. I bloody knew it. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Anyway, that's annoying. It's like the bloody stun because the buff immunity triggered that fifth and it cleansed them. Super, super annoying when that happens. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled killing stuff. All right, we're gonna get you. They're gonna get you, Biggs. You think you're safe, but you're not safe. I tell you what, we thought we were safe. We weren't. I tell you that right now. We weren't. We weren't safe. And you're dead. All right, there's a basic. Let's go get some uh, some of that over there. Perfect, no dodge, I like it. And smoked. They just did a wiggle, perfect timing for us. There goes that. And go for a stun. We got the stun, baby. We got the stun. Oh, reinforcement. Lame. No, no, can't do it. Can't that. Can't that. Alright, there we go. Yeah, 64. It's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Alright, let's get the Yeti fleet in here. Whoa! Whoa! What am I doing there? There we go. Uh, we don't really need it, but whatever. Thank you, thank you. Got him today, Trez. Got him today. Uh, gonna be getting a couple of more things going on. I want to update a couple of things on the channel. Uh, might do... I was thinking about getting some, like, animated overlays and stuff like that done. Now that we've got a uh, kind of a professional-made logo with, uh, like, the proper uh, pixelation and all that stuff that we can actually do things with. 
All right, let's get you butt fucking deaded over here. And yoink. There we go. There we go. It's like a loop. There's that. Uh, let's bring in Plo and clean off the nonsense and get, get a little health protection going back here. Get some turn meter going. Let's do a big uh, big single over there. We go start working on this hand's tooth. This darn hand's tooth. I tell you what, that hand's tooth is an annoying ship. Very annoying ship, I must say. It's very annoying. Oh, look at that. They're coming after our Anakin, those dirty little rat fucks. All right, let's get a big bombing run out here. We need Plo to take a turn so we can get a taunt back on there. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get that buff immunity on Houndstooth so we can finally knock it out. Uh, what does he do, Trez? Like, what specifically does he focus on? 65, I'll take that 65. See what score we got. 2657, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, we set a pretty hard defense. He's gonna have some uh, he's gonna have some issues there. He's gonna have to one make sure to absolutely one shot the board. The pressure is gonna be on, baby. See those FCs in chat, baby. Oh yeah, full clap, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. That's why. Uh, Trez, why don't you message me? Let me know. Let, let me see some of the stuff that he's done. Um, I haven't ordered anything yet. Um, there's a couple of things I do want that I definitely, definitely am gonna get. So if he can do those, then that'd be something I'd be interested in. Bo show. Bo show. Yeah, it was a pretty decent full clear. The, like I said, the guy was really banking. He's got background booth and graphics animation. Has done a fair share of overlays and stuff. Nice. Yeah, so it's like he was just banking on this to win him. Uh, win him the GAC. Show you the DM. Roger that. Yeah, so he's uh, he was just banking on that. He's like, all right, you win if you beat my Ray. Still need samples. Roger that. Roger that. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I find that it's one of those weird things where that works when you're facing people that don't have multiple Galactic Legends as well. So like when I had one and they had one, I set mine to offset theirs. So if they attacked with it, then they weren't soloing something. Do you know what I mean? Um, doing something like that. But when you've got multiples and you know this guy's gonna split. The Darth Yeti cat t-shirt. Dude, we can make all sorts. We can make all sorts, man. <laughs> well, we got that new logo, Nightwar, if you haven't seen it. So I was going to put the new logo on some merch. So if you roll up, there's like an animated one that I, I posted there and things and the, so I've done some, I've done some stuff with the artwork that he gave me. So I made this right underneath your tag in the general chat right here. I made this earlier today. Uh, just something I was like, oh, that's, that's darling. We can do that. So we get to end the YouTube. That's right. Anger leads say, hey, thank you for that. Uh, Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching YouTube. We got talk, Scott started talking about the new logo and stuff and the new artwork. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely been a, an interesting thing there. Um, so with that in mind, guys, it, we definitely got Kyber. We got it at the beginning of the week um, when we were just getting a feat. So so we've had it all, all together. I believe this is going to be a win. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's not going to be able to recreate that score. Um, without nefarious means on on offense, so I think we're pretty good here. I think we're 11 and one. We might have gone 10 and two, but I think we're 11 and one. Once again, he has to one shot the board, and I set him a pretty tough defense, so he's going to have his work cut out for him. Uh, best of luck to him if he can get it. Uh, with that in mind, it's been a successful season, Kyber. Again, we're going to take a week off, and we're going to be uh, getting into another season of Grand Arena Championships. Ho hopefully, five for five v five. Hopefully, five v five. At the start of uh, next season, there. Twenty six sixty eight. Nice nightmare. Nice man. Um, so yeah. So it's 
it's one of those, so I hope you guys are all in Kyber as well. I hope you're all uh, drinking from the cup of champagne of victory from that cup. Uh, God, I can't speak tonight. How did I fuck that one up? The Champion's Cup drinking the champagne of victory. There it is. Anyway, so, so with that in mind, I'm going to shut down the YouTube recording before I go blah, 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 or something like that. <laughs> take care, take care. Uh, we'll, we'll be sure to catch you up in a week uh, what we're going on there. We might have a strat chat coming in the next uh, next few days. There's a couple of people that I was uh, planning to have a chat with, so we'll see how we can do with that. And with that in mind, guys, go ahead and have a good one.